Last night, the death of an elephant at Block 3 of the Yala National Park sent shockwaves across the country as horrifying images of its carcass began emerging. The corpse was discovered in the environs of the Sella Katragama Gotamigama electric fence. Its body had been dismembered and its growing tusks stolen. The wild killers responsible for the death of this majestic creature had not stopped after taking its life. Its head was separated from its body, tusks stolen and its tail had also been taken away. Is this the elephant named Suranimala? Did the poachers target this specific elephant or another one of the four elephants in its herd? When going through photographs published, it is evident that a bullet had pierced through this creature's head. I want to request the Department of Wildlife to locate the bullet used to kill the animal and produce it to court. Further, the tusks had been separated using a chainsaw, leading us to believe this was a coordinated killing. These are heinous crimes. The head of another tusker was discovered from the buffer zone of the Yala National Park around a year ago. Even that creature's tusks had been harvested. This clearly depicts a racket of harvesting the tusks of elephants is currently taking place in the country. <laughs> Based on information unearthed thus far, wildlife officials suspect the creature had died after being shot in the head. The Director General of Wildlife, Chandana Surya Bandara, says a special team has been assigned to probe this brutal killing. Three joint investigations, including a police investigation, is currently underway with regard to the killing. In 2019, seven elephants were killed in Kiriwadunna, Habrana. What is the progress of the investigation launched into the killings? The animals had been killed by feeding them poison. That happens even today. The report has been directed to the government analyst. The case will be taken up on the 14th of next month. By that date, the government analyst must provide the report. Why does it take so long for a report on a matter which occurred in 2019 to be published? Why isn't the report being given? Will the probe into this vile killing too be met with a similar fate?